This is Vahography. I'm Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. Why beginner photographers quit within the first year? Number one, maybe your images are not coming out the way you hoped they would. Maybe you're not putting in the time to learn photography, to learn composition, to learn your camera. And anything you want to do in life, especially photography, if you want to get good at your craft, you're going to have to put in the time. So most beginner photographers, they hear stories of their friends becoming photographers, doing events, photo shoots, think it's a lot of fun and making money. They see their friends being successful at it and they think, you know what, let me try it. You go out, you buy a very nice expensive camera with a bunch of lenses. Maybe you're thinking, maybe it's the camera that makes the photographer. It's not the camera, guys. It's not the camera. No matter how good your camera is, no matter how great your lenses are, no matter how much money you spent on this gear that you bought, hoping to be a photographer, your images are not looking you know, professional or whatnot. Maybe you just need to brush up on your photography skills. Study the basics. If you don't know the basics of photography, you shouldn't be taking gigs. You shouldn't be charging others for photo shoots. No matter how fun you think it looks, no matter how amazing it is and a good experience, learn the basics of photography first before you start charging your clients. Lighting is key in photography, guys. The direction of light, the quality of light, the backlight. Study, you know, soft light, harsh light, you know, color temperature, composition. It's very important to learn basics of composition. You don't want to frame your subject that you're photographing in an odd, awkward, you know, frame. Always keep in mind, how much headroom do you have if you're doing portraits, headshots? Also, it's not only about traditional composition. Sometimes an artistic, arty composition to a photograph might look amazing and killer. So composition, lighting, your basic camera features, learn photography, take the time and study. Look at, you know, magazines, look at other photographers. YouTube is a great resource. So this is why beginner photographers sometimes get frustrated the first year and quit. They spend so much money on gear. They put it away after the first year and then they forget about it. Number two, you're not making enough money the first year to justify continuing your photography journey. The biggest tip I could give you guys on that is take your time, guys. This is not a one day, one week, one month thing. It doesn't happen overnight, guys. It takes time. It takes time for people, customers to get to know you, uh, market, market yourself wisely. When you go out, when you go to the grocery store, when you go to whatever, retail shop, shopping for clothes, whoever you see there, let them know you're a photographer. The problem with beginners sometimes is they put so much effort into social media. Sure, social media is great, but sometimes reaching out to your local community, you got to spread the word, do some work, you know, let people know what you do. And it takes time. Beginner photographers, they say, okay, I'm not making money here. I spent so much money on camera equipment. Best advice I could give you is be patient. You quit in photography. You quit the first year as a beginner because you're not doing the right type of photography that you enjoy. If you're doing events, if you're doing wedding photography and you just are not having a good time and you're just pace, you're chasing a paycheck, I suggest you really sit down and focus what you enjoy doing, what you enjoy shooting as a photographer. You know, I know guys that have done events for years and they stop doing events. They can't handle the, the stress. They don't like dealing with clients, clients, bridezillas, whatnot. And they stopped doing events and they went and, you know, started bird for birding or wildlife or, you know, they shoot sports photography, their local high school. And now they're all into it. They enjoy their photography. They enjoy the style, the niche, whatever you're shooting. You have to like what you're doing. What, what style, what type of photography you beginners enjoy shooting? If a client calls me and asks me to photograph their child, their kid, I just don't enjoy shooting infants and babies. So you don't do something you don't enjoy. Number four. Maybe your portfolio is not good enough. Maybe the images that you have are just, you know, subpar. 
They're just ordinary photographs, and that's why you're not getting clients. And you're having a hard time finding that client to, you know, spruce up your portfolio. I suggest you get some of your friends, your relatives, shoot some killer shots, you know, upgrade your portfolio. Clients don't know that that's your sister or that's your cousin or that's your friend in your on your website, on your Instagram. Make your portfolio killer and don't put all kinds of images on in your on your website and your portfolio. Only the best shots. Remember guys, less is more. Less is more for your portfolio. So make your portfolio killer and you'll see that you'll get more jobs. Number five, beginner photographers quit the first year because they're so invested in social media. They see what others are doing, what others are producing. They can't replicate that same quality and it just throws them off their game. They get frustrated and they quit. Guys, forget about social media. Forget about what your neighbor is doing. Forget about what your competition is doing and just concentrate on improving your photography don't worry about what others are doing don't worry about what how much others are making in your same market don't let that uh throw you off your photography game are you enjoying the journey it's all about enjoying photography if you don't like photography and if you're just there and you think that you're going to make a lot of money doing it and that's the reason why you bought a camera and lens i suggest you just move on to something else guys accepting the fact that it's a process of getting good is part of the world we call photography you have to accept the fact that it does take time and it is a journey love this thing called photography I, i suggest just you know put your heart your soul into it and you'll see that progress will happen hey what's good guys vahagan here from vahography if you like more photography rocking videos like this go ahead and click on the videos on the screen and subscribe to vahography and rock and roll